Today's video and blog topic is about how becoming closer with God can change your life. Many people have had rough pasts and or childhoods and have met God and changed their lives for the better. A lot will be covered in this post, but to start off, how can you get connected with God? There are a couple easy ways to get connected with God. One of them is attending a church. Just sitting in a church service and taking in the message is a start to connecting with God. Take an extra step at the end of the church service, you may even join the church or make the big decision to begin your walk of Christ. Another way would be to begin a Bible study. Engaging in a Bible study or doing a daily devotion allows you to understand God's word better and apply it to your daily life. I am also interested in starting my own daily devotional study. I would like to learn more of God's word and be able to take wisdom and peace from my, from my everyday life. You can do this by using a daily devotional app. It gives you a verse and reading piece for each day. You can read them at any point and take what you need. If you already attend a church, you can join a church group. If you want to get closer with God but have a hard time staying on track, then joining a church group might help you. Church groups follow Bible study together and discuss together. This way, if you have questions or want more opinions, you're able to ask the people around you. It also forms a bond with other Christians who you can go to for prayer or for advice or help whenever you need it. Church groups are more than just classes, but also communities. My mom was in a church group a while ago, and she still talks to the members to this day. They have a bond that will last forever. Most importantly, why we want to become closer with God. During our lives, we will experience trials and troubles. There will be loss and hardships and bad as expected. When we don't know God, we experience those troubles on our own. We have no one to help or offer us advice. Of course, friends and family are always around. Those people are experiencing similar things as well, so they cannot be relied on for everything. When we go through those troubles with God, we are able to talk to Him for help with the issues, and we are also able to read into His Word for wisdom. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. How can we be sure that this works? We've seen it. I wanted to include some recorded quotes from the testimonies of a specific group of people whose lives have been changed by God. Shara gave her life to God in 2014. As a child, she had been going to church but had little understanding of what was really being said. When she was a teen, her father passed and she felt guilty because of it. She used people and behaviors as well as substances to get rid of the pain. However, after she graduated, she reunited with her childhood church, and at the event, she finally understood what she'd been listening to at church all of those years. She realized that Jesus died on the cross, but that she wouldn't have to carry the weight of all that guilt. She later went on a mission trip and finally began to explore her life in Christ. She joined a Bible study and was surrounded by people who focused on Jesus. Her final message was that God was always in her life, even when she didn't understand much, but that God is only what you get from him. If you don't bother to dig deep, you'll never have that deeper connection. If you're reading this right now, I assume that you have some sort of relationship with God. However, you can always dig deeper. Here are some things to think about or rather when digging deeper with your beginning of walk with faith and to strengthen your relationship with God. Don't ever feel guilty for asking questions. If you never question the things that we hear in church or reading the Bible, then we'll never have a true understanding and we'll just have a superficial understanding. Remember that bad things also happen to good people. Just because you're going through hardship does not mean that you don't need to be punished. In fact, it might have mean the opposite. That afterwards, you'll receive a blessing of rewards so large that it will outweigh all the suffering prior. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5-6 through six. Trust the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. I wish you the best of luck and want a deeper relationship with the Lord, and hopefully you'll understand why it's so important. See you again next week with a new video and blog topic. Romans chapter 8, verse 5 through 7. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law, indeed it cannot.